Hi folks, I'm Swahan on Android.com where we get on Android every day. All right, from now on, I'm gonna start with some Android news so you guys know what's going on with the Android world. First of all, the big news this week is that Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge has been rooted. Definitely check it out at use.highonandroid.com. Also, Google I.O. registration today. Make sure you register. And HTC One M9 may have some problems with Snapdragon 810. I've been experiencing some very laggy experiences with my LG G Flex 2. That might be the same thing with the M9. We're not sure, but it does get really hot. Definitely check that out. Also, tomorrow is HTC One M9 big announcement. Uh, we don't know what's gonna be announced, but definitely something to do with T-Mobile and HTC. So definitely check those out. Anyway, on to the story of the day. James Lin from Zen Mount sent me on Twitter the other day. Hey Max, do you want to review my product? I was like, uh, what is it? He sent me his only prototype. This is the new Zen Mount that's on Kickstarter right now. Basically what it is, it's a one action a arm that you can control in any different angles. Mount your tablet, your GoPro, uh, your DSLR camera, and it comes with a little desk mount. Or you can opt to go with this heavy weight base. Anyway, this is revolutionary for me because I'm actually recording this video right now on a Magic Arm, which is similar to this, but this product uh, really replaces that product. No longer you have arms, you can go ahead and have a worn arm, uh, stretch it out, uh, have different angles, multi-different angles, and you can lock all that into place and you can even play baseball with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you my typical setup here. I actually use this thing called Manfrotto Magic Arm. Oh, that attaches to here. The reason why I use this, uh, because I could put a tripod there, but the tripod will take up a lot of room and uh, make it so I can't kind of walk through here. So the Magic Arm really saves space, and this is uh, the reason why I use it. And this is actually when I do my intro, this is the, actually where the camera is. And also when I do uh, my phone reviews, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this. Basically a magic arm, you can go ahead and unscrew it. And there's a two uh, mounts here. And I can go ahead and adjust it any way I like. I usually had about uh, this position right here. And what I can do is screw this on and do my video. It's actually really sturdy. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is because there's actually two arms, you actually have to kind of get it super right. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, that's how I've been doing it. But with this new Zen mount, hopefully it'll be easier. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the same setup uh, with the Zen mount. All right guys, I got the Zen mount on there. What I really like about this, uh, before to get into this position, uh, basically I would have the magic arm sticking out um, so this is gonna be great when I do uh, my ROM uh, reviews, uh, my product reviews while I'm talking about it, if I want my hands there. There's nothing blocking here. And also you can do pretty much all of the same angles with a magic arm, but you don't have two points. You just have this one thing. You can make it longer. Um, you can go to different positions. Uh, and uh, I see that that's why it's really cool. And also there is, you can go real low. Uh, real high. So it's sort of like the next generation uh, Magic Arm. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Now this isn't out yet, of course. This is on Kickstarter, uh, but it should be out. This very setup right here, um, just a desk mount for this would be about $99. Compare that to my Magic Arm, which almost cost me 200 bucks. Um, so half the cost, uh, more efficient, uh, and also it is very strong. I've got about two, three pounds in there and you'll be able to put probably up to eight pounds, no problem at all, all of your DSR gear. Uh, it is very sturdy. The shaking is actually caused by my desk. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but if you use it on a desk that doesn't shake, uh, it's gonna be super solid, uh, very nicely built, and uh, the material used is I think all stainless steel. But in testing this product, I do see it's just as good as a Magic Arm, but it costs a lot less. Uh, so definitely a product uh, that I might replace my Magic Arm with. All right, this is the same mount, uh, but with a different adapter for the tablet, for my Android tablet here. And uh, basically it comes with a desk mount. Uh, it also has a, like a heavy uh, mount, but I didn't really like that one. I like this desk mount. Um, also, you can position it into different ways, uh, any way you want, of course, and the length, um, just like the camera version. Um, so this is a great way uh, to have high professional quality uh, tablet mount that's sturdy uh, and also you will be able to easily type on. Alright guys, I got one of those cheaper mounts you can get on Amazon for like 20-30 bucks. 
Now here's a problem with these. If you actually want to do serious typing, uh, this device is rather very shaky. So let me go ahead and do a test high on Android. Uh, this and see how much it shakes. All right, here's the Zen mount and I'm gonna go ahead and type high on Android. And uh, although there's slight uh, shaking, but your shaking is a lot more minimized. All right, I actually find this position really comfortable. This would be a great way to actually mount it uh, on your exercise machine, uh, or perhaps you know work, you work at a retail store or you own a retail store and you need some kind of kiosk. Uh, it's gonna make it look nice and futuristic, and also be gonna be able to adjust uh, to different heights easily. And you can go ahead and type like this. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Whether you want a very stable tablet stand that can do many angles, or if you want to use it to mount your cameras and DSLRs, I'll definitely check it out. It's on Kickstarter. And thanks, James Lin, for sending me your only prototype. I'll definitely make sure to send it back. And that's about it, guys. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Uh, and as always, uh, stay on Android.